Our group is geared towards teens who experience worry, perfectionism, social anxiety, OCD, and avoidance. The purpose of our group is to learn and to challenge your anxiety. And we hope that by doing this, that you feel less alone, you're able to meet others who have similar challenges, and you get to have a little bit of fun. We asked some of our current group members some questions about group. One of the questions we asked is, what's your favorite part of group? We had somebody say, my favorite part of group is that I'm able to talk out my issues and find solutions. Another person said, my favorite part of group is that we do something different each time, which is true. So true. We like to mix it up. Another question that we asked them is, what's your favorite activity or game or lesson or skill that we did in group? My favorite thing so far for somebody is when the games tie into the lessons. We really work hard to be able to make this fun Mm -hmm. and have games and have activities, but then we're learning throughout. Hopefully you have so much fun that you don't even realize you're learning. (laughs) Somebody else also said that their favorite activity is when we work in partners. Mm -hmm. The benefit of having a group is that we're able to bounce ideas off of each other. You just can't get that in individual therapy. And I know that you might be like, I don't want to do that. (laughs) I am too anxious, which I think everybody is. And that leads us to our next point. We asked group members, if they could give advice to somebody who's hesitant about joining group, what would they tell them? And a group member said, the group is ironically what it preaches. It's uncomfortable at first, but the more that you learn and expose yourself, the more you get out of it. Another group member said something similar. Over time, you will get more comfortable and the outcome will be worth it. What's unique about our group is that we utilize two different approaches. So one, we utilize acceptance and commitment therapy, or ACT for short. And the other is exposure and response prevention therapy, or ERP for short. Both of these approaches are evidence-based for helping with anxiety and OCD. And really, we use ACT to help you build the skills to be able to cope with anxiety, while we use ERP to help you challenge yourself and expose yourself to be able to face and overcome anxiety. You may be thinking, what am I getting myself into? If your anxiety is anything like mine or Kelly's, you might want to know exactly what to expect. So here's a little snapshot. Hopefully it gives you an idea. We do encourage everyone to participate. We typically start with sharing our highs and our lows from the week where everyone will go around and identify one thing that feels like a win from the previous week and another thing that may not be as great. Next, we typically do some sort of opening activity. So this is where we have some fun. Sometimes it's a game. Sometimes it's a creative activity or exercise. In the past, we've done Jenga. Mm -hmm. We just did Uno this week. Did trivia the other week. Yeah. So just a good way to loosen up, connect with each other. After our opening activity, we like to begin the skill or the lesson of the week. Our group is an interactive, hands-on skills group where you learn, you practice, and you apply a new skill every week to help break that cycle of anxiety and OCD. We learn how to build bravery and self-compassion and learn coping skills along the way. One concept from ACT that is a central part of our group is the acronym DNAV. This highlights the four parts of ourselves in relation to anxiety and OCD. Starting off, the D stands for the discover part of ourself, and this is how we discover and challenge and use our bravery. The N stands for the noticer part of ourself, and this is the part that is very mindful and observant. It's a part of ourselves that's very in tune to what's going on, not only within us, but then also around us as well. The A stands for the advisor or the thinking part of ourselves. When we target our advisor skills, we're really learning how to unhook from unhelpful thinking that drives our anxiety. The advisor often pushes us to be perfect Mm -hmm. or ruminate and can keep us stuck, but we learn how to unhook from that. And lastly, the V and DNAV is for the valuer part of ourself. This is the part of ourself that really recognizes what's important to us and what drives us towards our goals. We're able to use the value part of ourself as a way to stay motivated to really challenge anxiety and OCD. In each group session, we also have group members engage in exposure planning. You get to create your very own list of different ways that you can challenge anxiety and OCD as it comes up for you. 
Some examples of exposures could include challenging yourself to raise your hand in class when you're really nervous. It could be picking one compulsion that you do with your OCD and trying to resist that. We want to pick exposures that you want to do, that you're like, oh, anxiety doesn't let me do this. We really think the key is to practice, being able to practice your exposures over and over again so that we can successfully break the cycle of anxiety and OCD. I'm Kelly Cody, and I am one of of the group leaders here at Creative Feeling, and I'm a licensed clinical social worker who specializes in treating anxiety, OCD, and trauma. I'm certified in providing EXRP, which is Exposure and Response Prevention Therapy, which is an evidence-based treatment for teens that are struggling with OCD. Outside of the therapy room, you can find me spending time with my family, with our dog, Claude, spending time outdoors, or finding ways to tap into my creativity around the house. One thing about me, and I often share with our group members, is that I have also struggled with social anxiety and anxiety in general throughout my whole life, and have found that being able to challenge myself and sit with those uncomfortable emotions has really been beneficial. I've been able to build my confidence. I've been able to stay true to what's really important to me. And then I often joke too with like family and friends that growing up, I was the type of person that did not want to go into Wawa at all. I would not want to get a gallon of milk, no matter how much my mom tried to persuade me to go in there. However, now I'm someone that has made presentations in front of over a hundred plus people. And I put in that hard work to really challenge my anxiety. And I'm very grateful that I get the opportunity to help teens that are currently struggling with it as well. My name is Laura McGarvey. I am a therapist here at Creative Healing. I especially specialize in treating anxiety, panic, OCD, perfectionism, chronic illness. I am extensively trained in CBT as well as ERP to help support our clients. When I am not working, I am enjoying baking. I like to go to concerts and I love my golden retriever named Stanley. I think for me, I really struggle in making mistakes, not being perfect. And so I use a lot of self-compassion skills that we learn. I like to diffuse from my worry thoughts because sometimes my anxiety will hook me in and worry about everything. I really like to challenge my anxiety in ways that align with my values. Now that you've met us, we are so happy to support you at Creative Healing's Anxiety and OCD Group. We hope that you join us.